What's going on, moviegoers? If you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to Super World Productions. Dakota Johnson states she will never come back and do anything like Madam Web again. But are we surprised? Honestly, are we surprised that Dakota Johnson released this statement and released a statement evolving around her experiences shooting Madam Web? We're going to dive deep into it, you guys. And we're also talking Bob Iger, how apparently Bob Iger and Disney had act some potential Marvel projects, not just Marvel, but potentially Disney as well. They're taking it very, very serious. This overhaul is extremely important for Disney Marvel moving forward. You guys, I can't wait to dive deep into these topics. Let's start off with Dakota Johnson. Now, we, we've all seen Madam Web, Madam Web, right? You see Madam Web? If you haven't seen Madam Web, you are one lucky son of a bee because Madam Web was two hours. I will never get back of my life, you guys. It was so bad. I just really want to know what the original idea and the original thought and the original script for Madam Web was because it seems like it was changed so drastically. I mean, you have Sydney Sweeney on SNL dissing the film. As well. She was like, yeah, I was in this one movie. It was like a romantic comedy, she said. And she was like, you didn't see me in Madam Web. I was just like, yikes. So there have been, there is, there had, there had to be some kind of tension doing this movie. They were sold on the idea. The idea that this will part, this was a part of the MCU. And it didn't turn out that way. So... Sony potentially lied to these young ladies saying like, yes, this is going to be in the MCU. You're going to be with Tom, ha Tom Holland, Spider-Man. You're going to be in the next big, you know, Spider-Man film. This will all lead to big events. If that was the case and they lied to these young women about their role, Sony, you are scum. And that is BS. You should, that is, it's terrible, 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 you guys. Look, Dakota Johnson came out and stated her experiences and confirming she will not be returning to the Madam Web franchise. And that is it. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. This is just too juicy not to talk about. So let me read you guys her statement. So she said, it's so hard to get movies made. And in these big movies that get made, it's even, it's even starting to happen with little ones, which is really freaking me out. Decisions are being made by committees. And art does not do well when it's made by committees. I agree with her. Films are made by filmmaker and a team of artists around them. You cannot make art-based numbers and algorithms. My feeling has been for a long time that audiences are extremely smart and executives have started to believe that they're not. Audiences will always be able to snip out bullshit. Madam Webb. <laughs> Uh, even if films start to be made with AI, humans aren't going to fucking want to see those. But it was definitely an experience for me to make that movie. She's talking about Madam Web. <clears throat> I had never done anything like it before. I probably will never do anything like it again because I don't make sense in that world. And I know that now. But sometimes in this industry, you sign on to do something and it's one thing, and then as you're making it, it becomes a completely different thing. And you're like, wait, what? That is really unfortunate for Dakota Johnson. Because it seems like she was sold on something completely different before she signed on. And then while she was making the project, it completely made a 180. And you see from the final finished product. I mean, go back and watch their press tour for Madam Web. It seemed like one big ass joke. And now I completely understand where she's coming from. And now I understand her, her attitude and her vibe during her press, her press tour. It makes all the sense in the world. Madam Web was so bad. It hasn't even crossed $100 million. I know the budget was... Uh, but the budget for the film was $100 million. I don't think it will, honestly. I mean, you still have Dune Part 2 out. This weekend, you have Kung Fu Panda 4. It's not going to make it, you guys. It is not. Madam Web, terrible. Moving on to the next topic, you guys. Bob Iger. Now, this, is, this one is very interesting to me. Now, Bob Iger is, you know, the CEO of Disney. 
And we all know that they're doing a massive overhaul for Disney and Marvel and all of the projects. And it's something that is desperately needed for the company because as of lately, there haven't been too many highs, especially coming before the pandemic. Disney was unstoppable, unstoppable. Billions and billions and billions and billions at the box office. So Bob Iger stated in a recent interview that, you know, moving forward, they're going in a very different direction. They're going to be very strict with green lighting certain projects. And he confirmed that, you know, certain projects, either that be within Marvel Studios or Disney, which I do believe that it's Marvel Studios, they had to pull the plug on an accent because they did not believe in that product. And honestly, I'm fine with that. I'm completely okay with Disney Marvel and Bob Iger not believing in projects that were in production or not even in production that were going to be in production that were going to be, you know, going into phase six and phase seven for Marvel Studios. You can't just throw any random characters on the screen anymore. It is no longer, you know, let's test run this character and see if it works. It's we need that reassurance that this character will be loved. The story will be will be adored and we're going to make some kind of profit off this character. I don't think that they're going to be greenlighting any more sequels that are over the budget that didn't that weren't well received from the audience. So a She-Hulk season two, that's not happening. Miss Marvel season two, I probably, it, it probably won't happen. A Captain Marvel three, it probably won't happen, you guys. So I'm like, damn, this could be a really good thing for Marvel. And I do think that they are headed in the right direction with Deadpool and Wolverine being the only theatrical release this year. Now, Bob Iger did state that he thinks that Deadpool and Wolverine will be one of the biggest success within the MCU as of recently. And I'm like, OK, I like the idea. Deadpool and Wolverine will definitely make billions at the box office. But I'm like, what have been the recent films that have been really successful and that haven't been? What, Quantum Manium? No, sorry, dating back to the Marvels. The Marvels only made, what, roughly around $200 million at the box office. And then we jump back to Guardians of the Galaxy, which crossed $800 million at the box office. Quantum Medium, you know, that only pulled in around $400 million at the box office. And the Wakanda Forever, that was a success, I do believe. That made, you know, it didn't make a billion dollars like that first film, but it did cross over $800 million at the box office. Thor Love and Thunder was around $750 million at the box office. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness almost crossed a billion dollars. So I'm like, you've had a couple of duds, but just because a film doesn't make a billion dollars doesn't mean there wasn't any profit and that wasn't a success financially. Now, critically and, you know, with the fans, it does make sense. Thor Love and Thunder, I think, is one of the worst Marvel movies I've ever seen. Quantumanium. Ugh. And I hate to say it, you guys. When I first saw the Marvels in theaters, I really enjoyed it. I watched it on Disney Plus recently, and I was genuinely bored. And I was just like, why am I watching this? One of my big problems right now with the MCU is the rewatchability. The rewatchability with some of these projects are slim to none. And I hate that. I want to be able to rewatch these over and over and over and over again. Like a Winter Soldier, an Iron Man, a Thor Ragnarok, a Black Panther. You know, there's just some of these projects, including the Disney Plus shows, are just unrewatchable. Like, I will never rewatch Miss Marvel. I will never rewatch She Hulk. And unfortunately, I will never watch Moon Knight again. I just won't. And it sucks because they just released um, uh, first looks at, you know, the physical releases. For uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier and Moon Knight. I'm like, ooh, I really, I really want to buy Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And I am a completionist. So I love to collect everything. And not to have everything MCU based would drive me nuts. So uh, it's it's an option to get Moon Knight on physical media. But, you know, season one, the still book and the 4K is probably going to run me close to $50. And I'm like, you know, what? it's pretty expensive right now. But, you know, I, I get where Bob Iger is definitely coming from. I, I really do. And, you know... 
axing certain projects. I want to know what projects they axed, honestly, because, you know, it, 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 it couldn't just be Disney films. It, it, it had to be some films within the Marvel universe that they didn't believe in. And, you know, that, you know, him and Kevin Feige really had to sit down and do this massive creative overhaul. I'm really curious to know what gets greenlit for more Disney Plus shows that isn't animated because it seems like they're, they're solely focusing on, at least for the Disney Plus stuff, the animation stuff. And the animation stuff has been pretty damn good, if you ask me. You know, we got we got X-Men 97 this month, which I can't wait for. The What If stuff has been really impressive, you know. Or even doing the one-offs, you know, like the, the, the special events, like the Werewolf by Nights or the, the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. Those are really, really good stuff. And I, I would love to see, you know, more more one-offs like that, more of the, the, the special presentations. You know, those are those are really good to me. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think about Dakota Johnson saying she will never return to the Madam Web universe? Are you guys, you won't see her interact with Tom Holland Andrew Garfield, <laughs> Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man. It's not happening. And let me know what you think about Bob Iger confirming that they had to make some tough choices and ax some projects over at Disney Marvel. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And thank you for taking time out of your day for watching Serial Productions. Peace.